Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of My Hair is Too Long and There's Nothing I Can Do About It. Today we're finally going to do some cable management stuff. Alright, before we jump into this video, I just want to remind you guys that I am doing live streams. I did the first one a few days ago and it went really well. I was able to interact with you guys live and answer your questions and just sort of have a conversation. And then I also showed how I sort of edit these videos. So if you want to see something like that, then subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when I go live. Alright, let's start the video. Alright, so today we're going to be turning your messy cable, whatever you have going on under your desk, we're going to make it look a little nicer. Now this has the benefit of looking nice for your desk, and then it also just kind of helps keep you a little more organized, but it's mostly just to make things look clean. So here's some of the stuff I used. You don't have to use all of this stuff to make your setup look nice, but this is just what I got. I'll do my best to link all these products on Amazon in the description. So I've got some cable fasteners, which are just little adhesive clips that can hold a cable in them. I have J channels, which are basically just plastic guides for your cables and they're in the shape of a J. I have a bunch of velcro cable ties, some double-sided adhesive, some tape, and something sharp. So this is what my cables look like right now. It's not great. They were cable managed a little better and then the adhesive on the power bar failed and everything just kind of came down. So let's clean it up. First we're going to start with removing everything. Okay, we want to be thorough, alright? This is a cable management job that you don't want to have to touch or adjust for a while. So I'm going to move my whole computer out of the way and just unplug everything. Because if you're anything like me, there's a good chance somewhere in that nest of cables, there's a few cables that aren't even being used or that you just don't need anymore. For example, I have a couple USBs and also this Ethernet power line adapter that I'm just not using, but they're sitting under there taking up space. Once all the cables are cleared out, lay your J channels out where you think you're going to need them. I already have a few laid out from when I put them in a while ago, and they're fine, so I'm just going to leave them. So now that you kind of have an area to lay out all your cables, start putting them back, just the ones you need, and kind of roughly lay them out in the, the area you want them to go. Make sure that they're all going to be the right length that they're going to reach or that there's not going to be too much extra cable. Now this step depends on what your setup is looking like, but for me I want to mount my power bar on the underside of my desk. Now this is for a couple reasons. One, you don't see it as well when it's right underneath the desk unless you're actually looking under the desk. So it looks nicer from when you're above your desk, which is most of the time. And it also just makes sure I don't accidentally kick it or like somehow unplug a cable or something with my foot by accident. It just generally helps keep the cables out of the way. Now I used a lot of adhesive for the power bar because I I used some 3M adhesive before and it failed and the whole thing fell off and now I'm, I'm out of 3M adhesive and using some cheap knockoff adhesive so I'm not very confident in its ability. Mount your power bar on the top of your desk, on the side, wherever you want, but if you are going to do this step, make sure any cables plugged into the power bar including the actual power cable for the power bar, are not going to pull on the power bar at all. A trick to this whole thing is you don't want to have any loose cables dangling around, but you also don't want the cables to be so tight that there's pressure on them, because if cables are even just kind of gently pulling on the power bar, over time that's going to weaken the adhesive. I would also recommend if you're going to mount your power bar upside down, to not plug anything super heavy into it, like a big power brick of some kind, because that's another way it's gonna fall off. Now, if you're really committed to this and you want the absolute best way of mounting a power bar, some power bars have holes on the bottom to put screws through to mount it onto something. So if you have a power bar like that, you can make sure you just get the right screw that's going to slide into there, and then screw it into whatever mounting point you want, and just leave a bit of the screw hanging out, and then you can just kind of slide the power bar onto the screws, kind of like you're hanging a painting. All right, so now plug everything in. Make sure all your cables reach. Make sure they go where they want to go, that you're going to be able to route them in the spots you want to. It's better to have a little bit too much cable than not enough. And again, make sure your cables aren't pulling on anything, because not just for like with the power bar where you might knock it over, but any kind of tension on like USB cables or things like that, is going to wreck them over time. Now that you have everything plugged in, use the Velcro cable ties to either tie all the cables together or tie them to something like the leg of your desk. I always recommend having your cables tied to a physical object like the leg of your desk so that they don't move around 
and they're going to be out of the way. The desk leg also helps hide the big bundle of cables from most angles, so you don't see them as well. And that's pretty much it. If you followed all these steps, hopefully your setup is looking nice and clean. It doesn't matter how fast your computer is or how much RGB lighting you have. The most important thing is that you take care of the things you have. But yeah, that's everything I have for you. If uh, this video helped you clean up your desk or manage whatever cables are in your house, then I would love to hear it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and you can hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Shall we tell me what you want, baby?